The trial of Femi Fani Kayode, the director of media of uh, President Goodluck Jonathan campaign organization, resumed today at the Federal High Court in Lagos. Fani Kayode is standing trial on a 40 count charge of money laundering while he was Minister of Aviation. At the resumed hearing of the case, a defense witness, Kola Olapodu, the administrator of a property belonging to late Remy Fani Kayode, father of the defendant, tendered a document accompanied with receipts of payments made by tenants in the property. The witness said the money allegedly paid into Fani Kayode's account with Inland Bank was not from the Ministry of Aviation, but the proceeds of rent paid by tenants occupying his late father's house. But EFCC's lawyer Festus Keyamo objected to the tendering of the document in court, arguing that both the document and the receipts of payments allegedly made by the tenants living in the house were not duly stamped. Presiding Justice Rita Ophelia Jumogobia agreed with the prosecution and refused to admit the document as exhibit. I'm not supposed to comment so much on what is um, going on in court, but um, they, they opened up with um, their first witness today. And um, I think I should cross-examine tomorrow, so I'm getting ready for that. In another ruling, the judge ordered the release of Fanny Kayode's international passport, which had been seized by the EFCC. She ordered the anti-graft agency to submit the passport to the deputy chief registrar of the Lagos Division of the Federal High Court to allow Fanny Kayode access to it. The judge, however, added that if Fanny Kayode needed the passport, he should file an address of formal application to the court, copying the Attorney General of the Federation. He is also to disclose his intended destination and the purpose of his travel in the said application, and shall not be allowed to stay out of the country for more than 31 days until the conclusion of his trial. Fanny Kayode had, through his lawyer, Wale Akoni, filed an application asking the court to order the release of his passport and grant him permission to travel out of the country. The judge granted the application since the EFCC did not object to it. She gave the EFCC seven days to produce the passport. His international passport had been with the, co uh, the EFCC in the last seven years or so, and we think um, you should be allowed to attend to some of his basic uh, businesses. And we made an application which the court had graciously granted, with the court insisting, however, that whenever he wishes to travel, he should uh, write to the court to let the court know exactly where he is going to. And we believe that is fair enough, since he does not intend to abscond. And um, so we will comply with the order. Fanny Kaode was arraigned before Justice Ajumogobia on an amended 40-count charge bordering on money laundering to the tune of 100 million 219,500 naira while serving as a Minister of Aviation. He was specifically accused of conducting financial transactions exceeding 500,000 naira, which was not done through a financial institution, by accepting cash payments of various sums, which was further carried in cash to former Inland Bank, now First City Monument Bank PLC, through some of its associates. According to the EFCC, the alleged offense violated sections 15.1a, b, c, d, and 15.2. A, B of the Money Laundering Prohibition Act 2004. Fanny Coyote, however, denied the allegations, upon which the prosecution, led by Mr. Festus Keyamo, opened its case on March 10, 2014, and closed it on July 10, 2014, calling a total of six witnesses in the process. In response to the prosecution, Fanny Kaude filed a no-case application, insisting that the prosecution had not established a prima facie case against him to warrant him entering any defense. He asked the court to quash the charges and set him free. The judge discharged and acquitted him of all the charges, with the exception of two bordering on money laundering, which the judge ordered him to enter a defense for. I'm very confident. We started at 19.5 billion. It was knocked down to 200 million naira, which I was accused of stealing, from 19.5 billion to 200 million, then to 100 million, then to 99 million, and now we're down to um, 1 million and 1.1 million naira. I'm accused of laundering. That's about $5,000 each <laughs> accused of laundering that. I've done absolutely nothing wrong. We have consistently protested our innocence in this matter. We're glad to be in court. I'm glad that we're now presenting our defense, and I'm very, very confident that this matter will be over soon and I'll be able to get my life back. The court actually held that 
there was a case in respect of those two counts. It's not me that said so, it's the court that said so. So that means there is some kind of prima facie evidence and we are prepared to go on with that. And I'm sure you know too, that in the world of criminal law, one count is enough. I hope you know that. So nobody should downplay the fact that only two counts are remaining. One count is enough in, the, in, the, in, the, in, in criminal jurisprudence. The case has been adjourned to the next day.